Hello again. Um, it is a lovely Wednesday morning and true to form for this week, I have a client who has gone into labor before her due date. Now, um, yeah, so not expected. She is like 34 weeks and some change as of right now. So this is mad early. Well, not mad early. It's just, it's a little early. But, um, yeah, I, you know, went to bed last night thinking, nah, this is going to be a, a, this is a good week. We had a little surprise birth on a Monday, but surely this will not happen again. And the labor gods, the labor universe is playing with me this week. Um, so again, like I said, for my previous video, um, and none of this is planned. I wish I was that creative to make people go into labor so that I could create content, but no, I'm not that cool. Um, but got the call this morning. Um, she'd actually called me twice, but my phone was, I don't know what happened. I didn't get the phone call. It was like either super early and I just didn't hear it or whatever the case may be. She called me twice. And when I called her back, she was like, I'm having, you know, really bad contractions. And I think my water may have broken. And I'm like, shit. Why would it do that? It's early. So I told her to go to the hospital, which is where she's headed to now. She should be there shortly. But um, yeah, so this is all, you know, before eight o'clock this morning. Birth doula life. When you are on call, you are on call. So I am headed down to North Carolina right now. Um, it's gonna take me roughly three and a half hours to get there. So fingers crossed that this baby stays put until I get down there um there are important factors that I'll need to know like what they'll be calling me with updates um I'll need to know of course if your water really did break that's number one two how far dilated are you three where is baby station at that's what I that's that's what I need to know um and I'll do a video one day about you know birth stations stages of labor all those things but yeah um this is just how you can get a real look into to what it is that i do and how fun is it that i'm just you know losing content this week with just labor spontaneously happening on me um so this is fun this is fun to see it's a rush um i'm excited we'll see we'll see we'll see this is my um significant other his niece and she asked me to be her doula so i was like girl of course i will do that for you um i would love to so i am headed down there now to potentially go and have this baby with her um i don't know that i'm quite fully awake yet just you know i've kind of like rolled over checked my phone and saw that she called and i was like whoa what's going on because number one we don't really talk on the phone like that she's more of a text person or at least that's where our relationship is and um there's nothing wrong with that but when she called i was like what's going on and then boom it's just like the the term that um another doula and myself have been using is the sky is falling monday the sky was not falling today it feels like the sky is falling just a little bit but we'll get through it we'll be fine and i will return either with a baby or with an update so bye so i'm back um let me turn the radio down for y'all be hearing mario whinings and puff daddy because they don't want to know but um yeah so i am back and it's been some time it's been about what roughly like three hours or so maybe a couple hours since I last recorded and what has happened since then is <laughs> she had the baby had the baby I did not make it um when I got the phone call from the baby's dad <clears throat> um he was telling me that they were doing a cervical exam on her and I'm like oh okay cool that this was around like 8 45 ish something like that somewhere in that ballpark range um and I'm still you know some distance away when he tells me they're doing the cervical check I hear the nurse or the midwife the OB whoever it was that did the check say oh you're 10 centimeters and I was like what 
10 centimeters. So not only was she 10 centimeters, but she was also plus one. Plus one is regarding the baby's station inside the pelvis and plus one, anything in the pluses is like your baby's on their way out. And it was at that moment that I knew I was not gonna make it to be physically in person for this birth. Now this happens sometimes, so I wasn't completely devastated, although I was just a little bit sad because I wanted to be there for the process, but she handled it very well. Um, she tolerated her contractions well. She labored at home for a while before she went into the hospital. Um, <clears throat> which was really good and I think that contributed a lot to her getting to the hospital being ready to push um, she didn't even make it to labor and delivery she delivered <laughs> in the emergency room um, so yeah but baby is doing well um, mom is recovering well like I got up there to her room to check on her and she's you know moving around like she did not just have a baby but uh, yeah I, I got to see her, I saw pictures, and you know, grandma was there, dad's there, everybody was, you know, everybody's over the moon about this baby and excited and happy and ready to love on her, and that is all wonderful. Um, I'm gonna be here for another day or so, um, just to make sure, you know, things get settled at home because they got to the hospital and had the baby. Nothing is necessarily prepared at home, so I'm gonna try to get them set up and settled so that when she gets back with the baby, it's not, you know chaos or not that she's having to figure things out so we'll work on that me and the grandma will work on that but um yeah i don't think i've ever had two births in one week let alone being a day behind each other so um that's all i got for right now i'm tired I'm tired. That was a three and a half hour drive to get down here. Now, typically, I don't take clients that are that far away. This was done for, like I said, my significant other's niece, and this is like my family too. So, I was gonna be here for her. She asked me to be here. I was gonna do it, but um, yeah, your girl is tired. This has been one hell of a doula week, um, and it's it's such a difficult balance. It really is. It's a difficult balance between having postpartum clients and having birth clients because can't control when somebody goes into labor there's just no possible way to do it but um, I'm very grateful to my you know my team for helping me out and stepping in for me and super grateful to the clients the postpartum ones that are understanding where I've got to be at the moment so yeah um, I'm gonna get back to y'all in a minute so I left off saying that I was house. headed to my brother-in-law's house and honestly when I got there I was tired and spent from the drive. I did not record an ending to this video. So yeah, this is a look inside of what it's really like being a birth doula. Um, on call life is real and I gotta roll out when it's time to go. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next week. Bye.